Hey guys, so I have some pretty exciting news to tell you guys. I have a few announcements. I cut my hair! I'm just kidding, that's not the news. So, my first news is that I just took my OBGYN board exam and... Here we go! Drum roll, drum roll please. I don't want to open it. I got you it. Want to open it? I just put my glasses on. <laughs> oh god! Oh, happy ears! <laughs> gonna open it! And, and? <laughs> As you can see guys, I passed. I'm super excited. I worked really hard. I've barely been sleeping all week. I've been studying from the morning to the nighttime, and I'm just so tired. And now that I finished my OBGYN board exam, I'm just so relieved. What I used to study for my OBGYN board exam was mostly the Edelman book. Um, like I said in my previous videos, I've been to Edelman seminars for my physics board exam. It's a really simplified broken down explanation of all of the OBGYN pathology. Um, the beginning chapters goes over GYN pathology and normal anatomy and then also it begins to talk about OB and also they have really good reviewed test questions at the end. Um, they're like little practice questions that you could use uh, after you read and I found it very very helpful. And if I ever needed like more explanation I would refer to my other books. For example I had the Penny book. I think it was called the sonography review book. I'm not quite sure. Um, You'd have to look it up. And also I had another review book. It was by Ovel and I really enjoyed that book. If you need more specific descriptions, like me, I don't remember everything that I've learned throughout my program. So I really like those books if I needed like a very specific description of exactly what the pathology is. Edelman is more of like a if you just need a quick review of everything you've learned type book. My second exciting news is that I actually got a grant and it was from the AIUM and if you don't know what the AIUM is, it's the American Institute of Ultrasound Medicine and I have been a part of the AIUM since um, after my Sono Bowl competition. They offered me a membership afterwards and I absolutely love it. If you ever need like some guidance or just want to keep up with sonography in general with the new technology, definitely join the AIUM um, as a member. Um, there is a fee so just be aware of that. I actually applied for their sonography student and sonographers grant. Um, I basically just wrote an essay about everything and then I won the grant. I was one of the lucky few who won the grant. I won about $500 and which was absolutely perfect because I was able to use that money for the board exam. As you know, board exams do cost money. And so I was able to use that for my OBGYN board exam so far. And I can't wait to use the rest on my abdomen one because of course I have to take both. And then my last exciting news is that um, the AIUM was actually very impressed in seeing my Sonobol recap video in my previous videos that you've seen before. And uh, as you know from the video, I just documented my experience at Sonobol. And so they actually contacted me and invited me on a trip to Florida and they invited me to record the AIUM convention. Um, I don't know if some of you guys know, but the AIUM always host this huge ultrasound convention um, with so many vendors, doctors, physicians, medical students, sonography students, real sonographers, and they just it's just like a four day um, a four day event on ultrasound, there's seminars, events, they also have their own sonobol there as well. I'm very excited to go on my trip. I just want to thank everyone who watches my videos because I'm sure that they wouldn't have even been able to recognize me without um, it going a little bit viral. Um, if I have any student sonographers or any regular sonographers out in Florida who are going to the convention or even are from that area, please feel free to contact me. I would love to hang out with you guys and just share my experience with you guys. You guys have been such a big part of my journey as a sonography student and I just love that I could influence all of you guys. I just, the first thing I wanted to do when I heard all this good news was to share it with you all. I think I'm mostly excited that well, one, I'm going to Florida and I'm going to be around all of these amazing, talented, intelligent people. But also, I could happily say that I am one of them. I am a registered diagnostic medical sonographer. I'm a health professional now. 
I'm not just Christy, the student sonographer now, guys. I am Christy, the registered diagnostic medical sonography. That's right, Christy RDMS. Everyone around me were so supportive in my journey, and I know that I still have to take one more board exam, but it's just such a big relief that now that the program is almost over, like I, all this hard work really paid off. Really, I'm just excited to get paid. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and share my exciting news. So I can't wait to see what the future holds in the rest of my years in sonography. So please feel free to contact me and message me about any questions you have about sonography, whether you're a student, a real sonographer. Also, follow me on Instagram at ChristyDMS. Thanks, everyone.